You're listening to Jonesy's Jukebox, Cal OS. It is almost 10 after 12 bells on a Friday. That was a dead weather. I feel love every million miles. Before that was the national mistaken for strangers. And uh, it's a good day. Free day weekend. Looking forward to that. Thank God for presidents. That's all I can say. Jonas Uckerland, director, former drummer for the Swedish band Bathorny. Bathorny? <laughs> no. Uh, Bathory. Bathory. Yeah. Okay. And Jack Kilmer plays the character Dead in the new movie The Lords of Chaos. How are you? Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. Thanks for having us. Yeah. How are you doing? Great. Thank you so much for having us. Yeah. Is your mum listening? <laughs> Hopefully. <yeah. laughs> Yeah. Did she live here? She does, yeah. 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 And uh, your dad's doing good? He is, yeah, thank you, yeah. Is he, is he working? He is. He was in um, that movie Snowman with uh, Fastbender. He was in that one. Yeah. And he's been doing his own thing, doing plays and yeah. writing. He has a whole factory now where he makes art and all kinds of yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, he was telling me yeah. about that. Yeah. He wanted me to be involved in it. You should come by. Yeah. Yeah. Is he still doing the uh, Swain? Yeah. Swain guy? Twain. 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 Mark Twain. Yeah, he has a, he's got a whole Twain universe that he, he dives into every now and again. Yeah. And his voice is getting better? It is, yeah. It is. That's good. It is, yeah. Thank you. So tell us about this movie. I watched it this morning on, on my iPhone in bed. It's a good way to start today. Hour yeah. and, uh, hour and, uh, how long is it? If it's it's almost two hours. One for one one fifty. Yeah. 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 And it's based on a, a a true story of a metal band from Sweden in the eighties. Uh, from Norway. Norway. Yeah. Yeah. The movie starts in like eighty seven, and uh, it kind of ends. The whole the, the whole era kind of ends by uh, one of the guys dying in the band. Uh, Ninety three. Yeah. Yeah. But weren't there two guys who died in the band? Yes. Um, there were a lot of people that died, actually, that were connected to these people and their, their bands. But this, I, I play um, Pele. The first singer? Olin Dead, a.k.a. Dead. He was one of the original singers of the band Mayhem. And uh, he was in the band from 89 to 91, I think. And, yeah. And uh, he helped sort of define the, the genre and um, really left his mark on the yeah on the scene. So yeah. he was obviously really disturbed, right? Yeah, like a you, depressed kind of guy. Yeah, he's, he's just pretty much just. Like, I'd be curious to what a psychoanalyst would have to say about that. Yeah. Well, he's definitely a, he's definitely a cutter. Yeah, as a, I mean, all kinds, all of that, and I mean, it's hard to say what what is art and what is just self destructive behavior. Right. And, you know. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, I think he's very talented, and he he's definitely a great artist. So. Did they actually make any money? No. The original uh, band, probably not. Yeah, I mean, they were great. Uh, Euronymous, who's one of the main characters in the, in the film, he and the leader of the band, he was great on uh, marketing, pre-internet. May I add, they made themselves famous all over the world by just sending around cassettes and yeah, yeah, so taking he, pictures and like the old school way. Yeah, um, but he he was. Uh, he wasn't really buying the truth, right? He was. It was like he, he was in a band. He was doing a, an image, or was it, it yeah. was the other dude who was the real head case, right? Well, I mean, there were a little bit of head case, all of them. But yeah. uh, um, I mean, he he definitely wanted wanted to go much bigger and make it more commercial than than it was supposed to be. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you was in a band. Around I the was, same time? Yeah, I was like a little earlier. Uh, I came out of the Swedish uh, metal scene and we uh, we were inspired by uh, Venom and those guys from the UK scene and early Sabbath. And we kind of mixed a little bit of punk rock, m metal, and, and we played fast metal and that became, with the dark lyrics, and that became what eventually became black metal. Yeah. Uh, so we were like a couple of years before Mayhem and those bands. So black metal means it's kind of devilish? Is that what the black metal bit means? Or is it just metal? 
it's just metal, but it's darker and and it's supposed to be depressing and and dark. Yeah. Yeah. But then there's true Norwegian black metal, which is what they invented in Norway during this time. Yeah. And uh, and do they do they do they do well then bands? I mean, Mayhem is still around, and yeah. they're uh, the two <clears throat> the two surviving uh, guys, uh, Necrobutcher and Hellhammer. They still have the band, and they're still touring, and yeah. they're. Pretty good, and um, yeah. yeah, they're around. So the guys from the original dudes, what would they think of bands like Ghost? Would they think they're sellouts? Um, uh, probably. You know what I mean? Yeah, probably. Yeah, they're they're very like protective of their thing, and they they have a lot of integrity about what is black metal and what is. And they're yeah. very weird about that stuff. But they, I think, secretly deep down, they won't want to be rock stars and be famous and all that. All that. <laughs> <Maybe>. so, <laughs> Maybe, yeah, but sorry. they're good. But they're good. They're really yeah, good. I mean, they have a huge cult following yeah. too. Yeah. Like they'll sell out. They'll they'll tour all based on their own fans without yeah. without the major. Did labels you say and, cute? Did I? Did it say cute followers? No. It sounded like you said cute. They, well, what did he say? What did you say? I thought you said cute. Cult. Sorry. They cult. Have cult. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You're the one with the accent. <laughs> yeah, but he said well, cute. They have some they cute followers. The kid a hard time. That's the last thing they, they want to be. Some cute followers too. I mean, that's what you said. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. yeah. Okay, cult. You're you're one of them. Cult, yeah, okay. cult followers. Okay. So do you like that kind of music personally? Um, I used to a lot, and um, in making this movie, I uh, kind of like rediscovered it for myself and realized that it's really good. But it's like it takes a little time. It's not an easy music to listen to, but once you get into it, it's it's good. Yeah, it's really good. Really? Yeah, I think so. I can't stand it to be honest with you. Mm. I well, don't. I don't get it. No, but like I said, it's like it's not my usual go-to music. But in making this music, in make, making this movie, I really start to appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. I like the movie. Thank you. I, I know you're sitting there. No, I can take it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. But uh, I just, I just does it. Just does nothing for me. That music with a guy going. Wah! I, I mean, yeah. I don't even know what he's saying. Is he saying anything? Is there words to it? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, the, you know, Dead, I was lucky to have all of his lyrics and be able to learn them. And, and uh, it's very, I think it's very beautiful and and uh, atmospheric. And they're all into, like, Nordic history and all this. So that was a big part in the movie. They were, they're very eccentric guys. They're, yeah, they're very into ancient Nordic history and, and Lord of the Rings and all this uh Macabre, crazy stuff. It's and that was all about yeah. that the whole thing with getting rid of the uh, churches. That's oh. right. Yeah, I mean, and that that's like just a part of one part of it as well. It's like, you know, they were uh, had a lot of different interests, but um, evidently they did end up doing a lot of damage to the to the organized religion yeah. mm -hmm. in Norway at the time. So it's pretty. Uh, it's yeah. pretty. Everything that's in your movie is pretty much documented that what happened, right? So we're not giving any secrets away. No, I mean, it's there's no surprises in here, really. Yeah, I mean, it's like you guys, you put it in the movie, it's based on truth and lies. And I've actually added now, and what actually happened. And what yeah, happened. Yeah, because I figured the truth is like what people say to me and their yeah. own truths. There's so many different yeah. truths. There's and so that, many. That, it's, yeah, yeah and it's uh, hard to get the right, like, what actually happened from any of these guys. Oh, cause, I know. Because, right, it's like a lot of these guys are so um, crazy that they have their own, like, they, I don't know, they believe in, like, ghosts and demons and stuff. Like, how are you going to trust the right information from these guys? Like, right. <laughs> like, <laughs> Well, uh, you know, like, but the, there's a few things we know actually yeah. happened. We yeah. know a, a certain amount of churches burned down, yeah. and we know four people died, and you know we know it left a yeah. lot of people sad. Yeah. You know, and Jonas actually knew a lot of the knows a lot of the guys and knew him too. He knew he knew my character dead, and there's a photo actually of them together hanging out in Sweden or something. Uh, Jonas was probably involved with the one. He was probably who got killed. <laughs> <Yeah. He> probably <laughs> I, I have my suspicions, you know, I do. Uh, but I never burned down a church. <laughs> okay. I know well, this. Sure, yeah. But, um, but yeah, I mean, I, I was so lucky to have Jonas doing the movie because, and, I mean, he was one of the guys. He was, was one of the yeah. Bathory, one of, one of the blackmail guys. He has, 
you know, access to so much stuff that the real black metal fans would flip out about. Yeah. Like, the original, like, patches and all the memorabilia and photos that no so, one's ever seen. Yeah, that was the yeah. real fo them photos that you took of you when you yeah. on, when you done yourself in. Are they around? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Unfortunately, I have to say, uh, it's very disturbing. And yeah, you can Google it and see the pictures oh, you can. right there. Okay. Yeah. yeah, they're all online. And okay. w weirdly enough, they were really good at taking pictures. They took a lot of pictures pre pre mobile phones. Yeah. Um, so yeah. for us to research this movie, there was a ton of right. pictures, and I wanted to get it right. Yeah. You know, the T-shirts, the shoes, the posters, the everything. I wanted to get it all right. Yeah. Yeah, so, that guy Meta Metallion was that's his name, right? Yeah, he had the um, the magazine, the Slayer magazine. So there was right. a ton of documentation. Yeah, super DIY stuff. Yeah. Didn't you do Madonna's video, Ray of Light? Uh, I did. I've done uh, many of them for 22 years. Have you ever he heard of a Sex Pistol mashup? With uh, that, with, with I that have song. actually. It was a while ago. Ray of Gob. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> we're we're going to play that now. Sick. Nice, good one. I'm nice. here with Jonas Ackerland, director. <laughs> For the new movie, The Lords of Chaos, and Jack Kilmer, who plays a character dead. Jonesy's jukebox, KLOS. Take it away, son. Oi! You're listening to Jonesy's jukebox from KLOS. That was Ministry. Jesus built my hot rod. And we had Black Sabbath. Black Sabbath. Then we had the Madonna. Sex Pistols mashup, Ray of God, Gob, Gob, and uh, we're here with my guests Jonas Ackerland and Jack Kilmer. Don't get too excited. <laughs> um, <laughs> you got the new movie out, Lords of Chaos, which you have a screening tonight. That's right. Yeah, we've got a screening. That's at, right. Yeah. We got a screening. And where it, is it, that it, screening, Jack it, It's actually oh, more well. than, it's opening tonight. So the, this is like the first screening and then it's going to... Make your Yeah, up. where is it, Jack? <clears throat> so, uh, it's so on Lords of Chaos will be opening worldwide tonight. Actually, not worldwide, uh, just in LA, right? Yeah. <laughs> on the, it's not the, confusing <laughs> at all. At the Lamel, Lamley, the well, Lamel. Well, Lamley. Uh, well, I don't theater. know if it is Lamley. It's on Wilshire Boulevard. Anyway, it's on Wilshire Boulevard. Uh, What's the address? It's uh, 8556 <laughs> Wilshire Boulevard. And uh, that's tonight. It's tonight. It's, it's opening. It's screening. It's a screening. For, um, for regular punters. Yeah, and we'll be there for a QA and a after. That's right. Yeah. There'll be a little Q&A after. Peria. And then it's playing again tomorrow night as well, if you miss out tonight. Well, well, yeah. Where does the singer live? The guy who acted? In the movie, uh, the when he cut his hair at the end. Oh, R Rory? Oh no, you mean Varg? Y the guy who? No, kills no, 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 no. The one who cut his hair off. He cut his, he cut his hair. Oh short. no, he's dead. Yeah. No, the guy who acted in him. Oh, Rory. Oh, Rory. I know yeah. the real bleeding <laughs> guy's dead. Jesus. Oh, no, Rory the singer York, Rory. Yeah. He lives in New York. Okay. Well, yeah. He's going to be here tonight. Actually, <laughs> he's, he flew in. Is he going to be in the Q and A? Yeah. He, yeah. He came out. Yeah. Good actor, I liked him. Yeah, he's great. He's great. great. You did, you did good too. Thank you. Do you like acting? I do. Is that what you are, an actor? I guess so. Yeah, I mean, it's it's. Uh, I don't really like labels of that kind, but. But what else you do if you don't act? Right. Yeah. I mean, um, I guess at this point I am. Yeah. Have you been in much stuff? I ca I guess now. I mean, um, yeah, it's adding up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You get you getting that. Uh, of getting good reviews from people who have seen it like who have you shown it to so far just well we we uh, we actually started uh a year ago at sundance it takes a little time to get these type of movies yeah. out so we did a, a bunch of festivals we've done like 40 festivals the last year uh and now it's, it starts theatrical here in the u.s and it's actually every week now it opens in a country somewhere around the world yeah. australia is next uh, uk germany like it so it's going to open we got great reviews um there was a lot of upset f hardcore fans uh, when we made this movie but uh a lot of them are kind of like slowly turning around now once they've seen it and once they understand what the movie's about what was they upset about the fact that you was touching it 
Yeah, it's like, you know, it's one of those stores that a lot of people think they own. It's their story. Yeah. They, it's very, uh, cl- they're very close to it and you can't touch it. Yeah. But, you know, black metal got commercialized years ago. We didn't, we didn't really screw it up for them. That already happened with yeah. all the books and documentaries. And, I, you know, you see these T-shirts everywhere now. So it's, it's kind of happened already. We're, the only difference between our movie and, like, a lot of documentaries and books and all the other documentations out there is that we're, we made it into a movie and we humanized the characters a little bit, you know? So there's, like, we remind people... The audience that these guys were very young, yeah, and um, they lost their minds. You know, it's yeah. it's a very sad story. They lost their minds because they got caught up in it, like they started believing their own bull. Uh, I think so. I think they stopped thinking about just thinking as individuals and started to think like a group and started to impress each other. And yeah. then one thing led to another, and before you know it, it's not a big deal to kill a man. You know, yeah. so yeah. And you document that in, in the movie. I mean, that's well documented yeah. like that. Yeah. But it just shows you, man, when you're young, you're a lot more uh, gullible to mm. do stupid stuff. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I, I guess. I think we all know those moments when we took a bad or a good decision. And, you know, these guys took a, too many bad ones. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I enjoyed it. Thank you so much. I watched it this morning in bed. Nice started the day out right <laughs> <laughs> let's play some uh dio yeah nice. stand up and shout love it yeah. we're here with uh i'm terrible with this stuff jonas ackerland directs a former drummer and swedish band bathory bathory, bathory. Yeah. what's that mean you, you bathed so a lot countess bathory was this Famous Hungarian countess from the 17th century. A dark, a dark person. Very dark. She <laughs> was bathing. She was bathing in virgin. <laughs> she was bathing in virgin blood f- to uh, extend her life. A, a dark ver- person ah. indeed. Yeah. yeah, you know, like we do. <clears throat> There's some truth in that. Yeah. There's some Maybe. truth in that, I believe. Yeah. And Jack Kilmer plays the character dead in the movie Lords of Chaos. Let's play a bit of Dio. Yeah. <laughs> You're listening to Jonesy's Jukebox on Cal OS. That was Ramstein. Ramstein. Then we had Rob Zombie, Dracula, Rammstein. and then Dio. Stand up and shout. And my guest, Jonas Ackland, director, and Jack Kilmer, actor, who plays in the new movie that's coming out, Lords of Chaos. We've got a screening tonight somewhere on Wilshire Boulevard. So good luck. <laughs> yes, it's at the Lamel Theater on Wilshire. Um, what was the address? Lamel or Lamley? Um, yeah, that's it. You've ruined anyway, it already. There's, <laughs> there is a uh, website as well that you should check out <laughs> called Lords of Chaos. Dot com. Dot com, and you can see all the screenings um, there worldwide. I think it's opening in Germany soon, and a bunch of other places, a bunch of other countries, so. all over the world, all over the world. What kind of uh, yeah. places is it going to be shown? Small places, big places? I think Good it's going to. I think it's going to be a mix, though, because uh, the movie uh, has a NC-17 rating, so you can't really go really? shopping malls. It's um, damn. So it's going to be like limited to s- certain theaters. Yeah. But we are doing theatrical. That's what we want to do. And it's coming out on demand like in a month or so. Yeah. Um, you've done a lot of uh, other pe- uh, uh, videos, right? You did YouTube, Beautiful Day, Queens of the Stone Age, The Struts, Ozzy Osbourne, Lady Gaga, Metallica, Beyonce, Keisha. Yeah. yeah. About 200 Maybe 300 even. You still do videos? I do, actually. I just uh, show one with uh, Rammstein that we just played. Yeah. Uh, for their new album. So I do, but uh, because of Lords of Chaos, and then <laughs> I did this other movie called Polar, which is on Netflix now. Yeah, I got to check that out. Um, I was kind of out of the game for a couple of years, but I'm back in music videos now, yeah. When do you think this movie, uh, Lords of Chaos, is going to be on Netflix and all the other... Uh, I think it, it'll be at some <coughs> some streaming service in like a f- couple of months or so. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. thanks for coming by. Thank you. Have you got all your info out? Now's your chance. I think so. Lordsofchaos.com. <coughs> Lords of Chaos, the movie. Go see it. It's uh, it's brutal and very entertaining. 
And, and um, it's based on a true story. Based on a true story, tr based on truth and... Jonas? And lies and, and lies. what actually happened. Yeah. yeah. And um, yeah. if you're into music, you're going to love it. And If you're into you know, guys, you sound like this. You'll yeah. love it. And if you're in gu to guys in tights and, and uh, makeup. Yeah, and, and, yeah. And, and stabbings. and Stabbings and... Burning churches. That's right. You're gonna love it. You're yeah, gonna love it. it's your movie. <laughs> Great for the family. Yeah. Well, That's thanks right. for coming by. We're gonna visit the Duke when we come back. We'll have a bit more rock and roll. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. You. Yeah. Thank you. You are invited to join us here at KLOS in front of the.